Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a large Costco haul. It's um, the middle of September, it's Saturday, and I'm planning on decorating the uh, front part of my house, or like the front porch area of my house for the fall today. So I got some things for that, as well as some Christmas items, and um, just a couple of other fun things and groceries for the month ahead. Um, I was telling my husband, today's kind of the first day it's felt a little fall-like where we live. It's in Northern California. And so this Costco trip, I shouldn't have shopped when the seasons were changing because I kind of went crazy. It's kind of like shopping for food when you're hungry. So um, anyway, got a bunch of stuff today. Let's just hop into it. Um, so I got two of these mums. They're really beautiful. They look great in front of a house. I put them on a straw bale, like one of them up on the straw bale with pumpkins and another one kind of down next to it. Um, super cute. I got two of these, a white one and then a yellow one. And I think it was $16, but I'll put the prices down in the description box below. And then I got this set of Goosebumps books. So my kids really love the Goosebumps um, movies during this time of year. They're just kind of like scary Halloween movies. Um, and my second grader does the AR reading and I looked at the rating on these books and it said it was like a third grade level, but he's a pretty good reader. He's in like the late second grade to mid third grade reading level. Um, so I thought he might enjoy these. I don't know if they're going to be too scary, but I remember reading these as a kid and I really enjoyed them. So if he doesn't read them this year, then I'm sure next year he'll get a kick out of them. So picked up those. And then some Christmas stuff. So we'll start here. Um, this was a multi-purpose storage unit. It was $29.99. It was the only one I saw in store. And um, it's like hard plastic. I figured my husband would really enjoy this maybe for like a Christmas present to put tools in or something. Um, so I grabbed that since I saw it. And then we do advent calendars every year as a family. So my husband and then my two boys and I, we each pick out an advent calendar. Typically mine's like a beauty advent calendar, you know, with beauty products in it. My husband gets the Wera Tools one usually. And then my boys kind of alternate between if they like Legos or some sort of figurine one. But um, this year my four-year-old wanted the Guardians of the Galaxy Lego advent calendar. So they had that at, at Costco and the price was significantly cheaper than Amazon. So if you like advent calendars, they had Harry Potter, they had um, Star Wars, they had the Guardians of the Galaxy, and they might have had another one. But anyway, so I picked that up. Um, and then my other son this year wants to do like a gemstone one. So I'll get that one on Amazon. And then I also got this Kinder Milk Chocolate Countdown calendar. So I thought this would be fun. We usually don't do a chocolate one, but I thought we could, you know, open it every night and then like each have a little bite of of the chocolate that's inside. It's typically like just a little guy. Um, so that's kind of fun. And then I picked up a couple sets of Legos. So we like to usually give at least a set or two of Legos for Christmas to our boys. And um, this was on their wish list, the Dumbledore's Castle. So I got that as well as this um, Ministry of Magic set from Harry Potter. They're super into Harry Potter right now. So I got those. And then um, picked up a thing of lettuce. I was going to get the bag of um, Caesar salad, the kit, but it was significantly more expensive. It was probably double the price of just getting this bag of lettuce. So I figured I would just make my own Caesar salad. Um, so I got that. And then this pack of ribs, it'll be dinner sometime in the next few weeks. These freeze really well as, um, too, so I can make it this week or just throw it in the freezer. We'll see. I got two packs of this roasted turkey breast. So it comes with three packages and I got two packs of the three packages. Let me grab the other one. Um, use these for sandwiches, use them for homemade Lunchables, really good tasting turkey. Got some strawberries, my four-year-old was requesting them. Some more coffee creamer, some um, salted sweet cream butter. I figured with the holidays coming up, I'll just stick that in the freezer. Butter freezes really well if you didn't know that. Um, I got some gift bows. So we went through our big box last year, so I thought I might as well stock up now. There's 50 bows in a box. I got some corn. Um, let's see, I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna go around to the back of my table. I'll probably just do this. Okay, so 
I got a eight pack of corn on the cob that can be a side with dinner. And then my, my son's school does a fall festival where each grade or each classroom does some sort of a game and they ask for donations from the families for prizes and that kind of thing. So my son's um, class, second grade class is doing some sort of candy bar run. So they asked for donations of full-size candy bars. So I got two boxes of this set. There's 30 full-size bars. Um, there's Butterfinger, Crunch Bar, 100 Grand, and Baby Ruth. So two boxes of 30. And then I also got two boxes of 30 of these Kit Kat, Kit Kat Hershey's with Almonds, Plain Hershey's Milk Chocolate, and Reese's Pink Cup. So we'll bring those into his classroom on Monday. Um, a four pack of the ground turkey. I just needed to stock our freezer up. We're kind of running low on meats. Two bags of these chomps sticks. So these are zero sugar, all beef, um, like beef sticks. And there's 12 to a package. So I got two of those. My kids love these as snacks. I got this package of Adele's teriyaki and pineapple meatballs. There's kind of, there's two packs in here. So I figured this would make a couple dinners, um, you know, cook one package for a dinner and then put the other one in the freezer. A big container of grapes, two packages of the original turkey jerky, um, this, or Nesquik. So we had one of these containers for, I don't know, probably two years in our pantry and we are just um, almost out of it. So I thought I'd get that for the pantry. The boys love chocolate milk every once in a while. A big bag of lemons, uh, two gallons of 2% milk, this uncured extra lean ham. I love using this in quiche. I love it on sandwiches. Um, so I grabbed that. Some little tomatoes. We use these for all kinds of things. My four-year-old loves tomatoes just in the ranch. Um, Kirkland marinara sauce. Gosh, the price of everything. I know that we talk about this a lot, but it's just so expensive. I, um, you can certainly get tomato sauce cheaper from other stores, but I love the taste of this marinara sauce from Costco. I also love the Rayo's, uh, marinara sauce, but I just couldn't bite the bullet on that one, um, this time around. But anyway, I got a three pack of that. This Harry and David's Moose Munch premium popcorn. It has almonds, cashews, um, and then chocolate in it along with popcorn. Uh, this will be just a treat that we keep in the pantry and occasionally give, you know, a little handful to the boys, maybe while we're watching a movie or something. Um, it'll last us quite a while, and it's good for an entire year, so I thought I would pick that up. Um, the whole bean French roast coffee, we love this coffee. I got some hummus, I don't know if I showed that already. This pack of the Just Bare Lightly Breaded Chicken Breast. We're almost out of the package we have in the freezer. Some of this Kirkland salmon. Love this salmon. This package will probably give us two dinners, I'm thinking. Um, yeah, two dinners probably. Anyway, I love just cooking the salmon with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and then sliced lemon on top. You bake it, and then I typically will make roasted vegetables and some sort of side, either rice or potatoes. And it's just a really good, quick, healthy dinner. Um, so we haven't had it in, I don't know, a month or so. So I figured I'd get some more salmon for the freezer. Um, some bananas, I got the really green ones because we have a couple that we still need to eat through. Some sliced Tillamook cheese. We probably have half a package of this still, but it lasts for a long time and we will need some more in the next probably two weeks. Some cucumbers, we love Greek salads. We also just love to um, slice these up and I stick them in the boys' lunch with ranch. I got a big chuck pot roast. Um, I figure with the weather changing, it's supposed to rain, I think tomorrow and the next day. So I will do a pot roast in the crock pot. Um, a two container package of ranch dressing for dipping veggies and salads. Um, egg whites, we use these for breakfast sandwiches. Two of the rotisserie chickens, they're five bucks a piece. You just can't beat it, they're huge. Um, I figured we'll have one for dinner tonight actually. And then the other one, I'm just gonna pull the, the meat off the bone and throw it in the freezer. We have a colleague that um, 
needs a meal train for something and so my husband said I should make the like chicken enchiladas so I'm going to throw it in the freezer and then next weekend we signed up to bring chicken enchiladas so I'll pull the meat out on Friday and probably bake them uh, Saturday so it's good for throwing in casseroles freezing eating fresh um, if you've never tried their rotisserie chickens you totally should it's worth the price and they're delicious um, skinny pop these were on sale so I got two bags and we will definitely eat through those um, a package of five avocados I think the price equaled out to like one dollar an avocado so and they're still pretty green so I'll let those ripen the pumpkins were there I think I paid seven or eight dollars for this um, and again this will just go on a straw bale <clears throat> out in front of the house um, with the mums Canadian bacon for our breakfast sandwiches as well as uh, English muffins this was a two pack of mashed potatoes I can easily make homemade mashed potatoes but I just thought for convenience purposes um, I would get these for some sides for dinners and then lastly or not lastly we got another this was the other mom I was talking about so the white mom super pretty and then this package of Kleenex I figured tis the season for everybody getting colds so I thought I would stock up on those while I can so that's what I got at Costco today. Super excited for all things fall and the holidays. This is my favorite time of year. Let me know what you're seeing at your Costco for seasonal products. And um, I, for many years we got, there was like a string, it was like a light garland that we used to put above our fireplace. And we had it up as decor for like five or six years. I think we'd only replaced it once at Costco and now we need a new one and they don't carry it anymore. So I was super bummed about that, but they had some really cute Christmas decor um, this year that I had never seen before, like lanterns with figurines in it. They had a Mickey and Goofy um, nutcracker set. Yeah, just lots of really cute uh, Christmas stuff. So if you're into that, check out your Costco. And if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe and stick around. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.